Hello Hornby fans and welcome to another episode of From the Archives, the series where we delve back into the archives to look at locomotives and sets from years gone by. This time we take a look at the Cornish Riviera Express. Released in 1997, the Cornish Riviera Express represents the West Country of the 50s, when king-class locomotives hauled the premier rated services of the BR Western region. The locomotive is King Charles I in the BR livery of the time, hauling coaches in the famous chocolate and cream of the region's former GWR identity. Included in this set is a British Railways King Class locomotive, two British Railways Mark I composite coaches, one British Railways Mark I brake coach, an oval of track, a transformer, a train controller and a Hornby track mat. Now let's travel 10 years later and look at the 2007 Cornish Riviera Express. The first difference you may notice is the Hornby logo. The logo on the 1997 Cornish Riviera Express was used between 1986 to 1998. Included in the 2007 set was a GWR 460 Castle Class Cardigan Castle locomotive two GWR Centenary Composite Coaches, a GWR Centenary Brake Coach, a Power Track, a Buffer Stop, a Train Controller, a Wall Mounted Power Unit, and a Hornby Track Mat. This set had a limited run of just 2,000 sets, and to prove it, you get a numbered certificate of authenticity. The very first fast passenger service from London Paddington to Penzance commenced in 1867, but it was not until 1904 that the service was given the name the Cornish Riviera Express. Over the years the speed of the service increased as did the comfort, and by 1935 the train comprised of the then modern centenary coaches. In 1938 the service was nationalised and is still operated today by the first Great Western. The locomotive and centenary coaches in this set are resplendent in the Great Western Railway colours of the mid to late 1930s. Which set is your favourite? Did you own a Cornish Riviera Express? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Hornby from the Archives, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>